Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Link Pop. This is a link and bio tool created by Shopify, which can help you make money and you're able to actually list and sell your products directly through Link Pop as a link and bio page. Link Pop is very similar to other link and bio alternatives such as maybe Linktree or Beacons AI. Those are a few other popular ones and Link Pop really stands out because you can actually sell your products directly through the link pop app it is again a free customizable link and bio tool powered by Shopify and you do need Shopify if you do want to sell products through them but you can also use link pop just to link your social media as well so in this tutorial here today I will be showing you how to add it to your Shopify store if you don't already have a Shopify store I do want to mention you can go ahead and check out that first link down below in the description that's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify that will take you right over this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's brennvaleski.com forward slash Shopify at that first link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial and overview of Link Pop. So first, going through exactly what Link Pop is, besides the introduction here, of course, it is a link and bio tool where you can claim your username and link to all of your different social media. Now, where Link Pop stands out is they are more e-commerce focused, again, because because it is created from Shopify. Again, you can also utilize the Shopify one-click checkout. This is really great if you want to sell products through your link and bio tool, whether it be hoodies, merch, a variety of different types of products that you could sell on your Shopify store. If you have a Shopify store, of course, then you link it to Link Pop, and then you're able to sell your products again, whether it be like coffee, uh, merch, tons and tons of different products. You can also customize your Link Pop page, as you can see here, uh, your free page with in minutes, changing out the colors, the look, feel, design. Really, overall, you also get different analytics as well in order to see how your page is performing and how that converts into sales as well. So Link Pop really is an e-commerce driven page that can help you. Now, in addition to that, you can also, again, like I said, design and sell merch. You can do drop shipping products as well. So you can use Shopify drop shipping apps, which I talk a lot about here on the channel as well, if you're interested in that. And you can also make affiliate money as well. So maybe you're just an influencer looking for an alternative to Linktree. You could also use Link Pop and the free version of Link Pop to share affiliate products through your Link Pop page as well. So Link Pop really does cater to sort of a wide variety of different audiences, depending on what type of commerce or e-commerce you're doing, whether you you are an affiliate, whether you are doing drop shipping, whether you're doing print on demand, selling merch, or any kind of place in between. If you have your own storefront as well, that's really where Link Pop shines is if you have your own storefront. But again, they do also still cater to uh, maybe social media influencers who are looking to make affiliate money through their link and bio page, similar to how you maybe are familiar with a link tree page. So as you can see here, they have a wide variety of different examples of link pop pages. Uh, we will be taking a look at a couple of examples as well. I will be showing you how to link your link pop to your Shopify store and create a link pop as well through that. Now, in terms of your Shopify store, again, Shopify does have a wide variety of different plans uh, as well available depending on your specific needs. Again, if you want a free trial to Shopify, go ahead and check out that first link down below. So link pop, exactly how can you link to them? It's very similar to Linktree. Uh, if you're familiar with Linktree, again, this is my Linktree here. So we're showing you, you know, social media pages. I have my YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. You know, feel free to follow me on Instagram uh, as well. Uh, if you want to check out my Instagram, I have a lot of fun photos there, of course. Uh, but this is generally what a Linktree would look like in linking out your social media. You can do the same thing with Link Pop. However, where Link Pop differs is you're able to directly sell products. So this this is a traditional link tree just for really social media primarily. There are other advanced options you can do in link tree as well. But taking a look at a, an example of a link pop page in comparison to a link tree social media page, this is a example here through link pop. This is an Excel spreadsheet type page. They have an Instagram and a store front as well. And this is their link pop. So as you can see here, you're able to link to this maybe in your Instagram 
bio or your YouTube channel descriptions, anywhere really wherever you want to do a link in bio, TikTok as well, uh, really any kind of social media page. And then this is the link, in, link pop link in bio page. So how this differs from a traditional link tree is as you can see here, you can actually click on these products and buy them directly from the link pop page. So as you can see here, you can add it to your bag or buy it now and you can easily add products and sell them directly from your link and bio page. And it's all native within the Shopify platform, which is what's really nice about link pop in general is it gives you a bit more flexibility. If you want to sell products in a more convenient way for a lot of your followers, instead of having them uh, to go to your storefront, like you can still link out a storefront page, but this is a great alternative to an to sell products and increase your overall conversion rates by selling directly uh, within the link in bio. So it just makes it quicker and easier for customers to shop products and check out a variety of different offerings that you have in your link in bio beyond just linking out to your shop. You're able to actually list the products directly and customers can check out completely from the link in bio page. So getting into how to add link pop and how to use it, uh, that's what we're diving into now in this part of the tutorial. That's sort of the comparison there and how it differs from Linktree. Uh, so next, in order to sign up, you can either sign up for free here uh, by entering in your username and claiming your URL. That's one way to sign up for LinkPop. Now, if you do already have a Shopify store, uh, you can also go directly to LinkPop on the Shopify app store. Uh, you can search for LinkPop here on the Shopify app store. You know, make sure you're logged into your Shopify store. And then all you have to do is click add app. So we're going to go ahead and add the app to the test store for tutorials. So we're gonna go ahead and add the app here. As you can see here, I'm already signed in. It will bring up this page here on your Shopify store. Uh, next, you're gonna click add sales channel. So again, this is a additional sales channel within your Shopify store. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure we choose the right account here. And now link pop is loading in here and it will add it to your Shopify store. So welcome to link pop, log in to continue building your link and bio page. So continue to link pop. As you can see here, it is a separate login, sort of, in a way. So if you have the app added to your Shopify store, uh, this is what the setup will look like within Shopify. Uh, again, you can do this completely for free separately from your Shopify store. If you don't already have one, uh, you can still create a free link pop page. This is just what it looks like if you already have a Shopify store and you are adding link pop as an additional sales channel. Again, it is a completely separate sales channel from an online store, for example. So again, if you are using the Shopify starter plan, which is currently at $5 a month on the Shopify starter plan, I do have other videos going over that more in depth. I will link that here in a card for the Shopify starter plan. If you're interested in that, you can use that plan to sell products for a lot cheaper than the regular Shopify basic plan, maybe if you don't need a whole online store. Uh, and then you can still use Link Pop as well. So that's a good alternative. Maybe if, again, if you don't already have a Shopify store. So then we're gonna go ahead and create this Link Pop here. So as you can see, we can, by default, we'll have the store name and bio, color, social links, recently added products that will be added. You can also create something from scratch as well. Uh, if you do want something created from scratch, this will just automatically create something based on what we already have built on the Shopify store. So as you can see here, this page is now published and we can go ahead and check that out here. So this is the link pop. Now, again, I have some pretty janky looking products here on the store because this is just a test store for tutorials. Uh, so I don't really have any legit products on here. These are all just test products. Uh, but as you can see here, automatically created, added some of the products to the page. Now, of course, we can go ahead and customize that, which I will be showing you now in just a second and what you can actually edit from your link pop. So as you can see here, uh, you have a variety of different options for your link pop. You can you know, change the page, analytics, view analytics. Uh, you can uninstall link pop from your Shopify, disconnect the shop. Uh, you can easily copy the link here. Uh, and as you can see here, this is the live page. Now. As you can see, this is the sidebar where we can edit the link pop. Now, the only thing is, of course, my little camera here is sort of blocking a little bit of that, uh, but not to worry. So within this page here, we will be checking the live version to see the changes. But as you can see, uh, you can add products as a link. You can add media. 
Uh, you can add links, add affiliate product links, and this is where you can share product links from Shopify Collabs. I will be doing another video covering Shopify Collabs more in depth. That works both for people doing affiliate marketing on the affiliate side, or if you want to uh, get more influencers to promote your products as well. Um, that's how Shopify Collabs works. Again, as a link in bio tool, if you're using affiliate product links, this is more so if you're an influencer. Uh, again, if you are an actual Shopify store owner and you're selling products, you're just gonna wanna list your own products versus listing out you know, Amazon affiliate links, unless maybe you are also selling uh, on other channels, then maybe you know, maybe you're still promoting affiliate products. It depends on what type of influencer you are. Maybe you have some of your own products. Maybe you also are, uh, you know, promoting some other people's products as well. It just depends on your brand and what you're doing. Uh, but that they do give you that flexibility and customizability here within LinkPop. So we can go ahead and add products, uh, share products directly from your Shopify store. So as you can see here, we already have a lot of these linked by default. Uh, now, if you want to change things around, we're going to go ahead and delete some of these products from here. So we're going to delete the test product. Go ahead and delete. Uh, we'll delete the Rolexes just because they kind of take up a lot of space. So right now we just have the cat brush. So now it's just the cat brush listed. It probably will take a second to load. Okay, so it is published and you just have to click save and publish down there. Now to add additional products, as you can see here, you click add product, and now you can scroll through your products and select and add additional products. So we're gonna go ahead and select that one. Seems like you can only do one at a time. So we're gonna go ahead and add the beanie. So we've added the beanie. We're gonna go ahead and actually delete the cat brush. You can also change the product name there if you want maybe a different product name, depending on how it looks. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click publish there refresh. Okay, so now we've just got the beanie, as you can see. Uh, if you want to change the styling as well, we can go ahead and change the background colors if you want it to look a little different. Uh, we can go with something a little bit more vibrant, uh, maybe sort of like a pastel kind of color. That looks kind of cool. You've got the card colors you can change. We're going to leave that white. You can change the card shapes, so you can really get pretty customizable here with the overall look and feel. Uh, you can change out the fonts as well if you want things to look a little different. Uh, we're going to stick with Roboto. You can change the colors there, the opacity, I believe, as well. So you can kind of make the little bit less dark or deep. You can change the card colors. Uh, so you can change that there if you want things to look a little different. We're going to leave that on white. I think that looks pretty good. You can also upload a background image as well if you want to change that styling. We're going to go ahead and click publish. And as you can see here, once the changes are live, probably will take a second. And you can also update and add a profile photo. So if you do want something other than just the default shop image, I would highly recommend adding your store's logo there. You can also add a little description. So we're gonna go ahead and type in test description here. So as you can see, you can add a little profile description and your actual handles and social media handles as well are optional. Again, this is you know, designed if you maybe are an influencer or a brand, if you have other handles, you can currently link out to, again, you can add your email address. So you can link out to your Shopify store. Of course, that makes the most sense. Uh, linking out to your email, you can add your Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Snapchat, TikTok, Pinterest, Patreon, and LinkedIn currently. Those are all the social media platforms that you can link to here as your social media social media handles within the icon. So that's based on having them there in that top icon spot. Now, if you do have a link that you need to add that isn't listed here, maybe other websites, for example, uh, you can just add those through the regular links. You can add link to any kind of website you want here. Uh, and so let's go shop my store, something like that. And then all you have to do is you can go ahead and copy the link pop. We're gonna just copy the link pop link or actually we'll copy, yeah, we'll copy the link pop link and you can add 
that URL there. You can also add a thumbnail image if you want to add a thumbnail image. Uh, additionally as well, if you want to add a thumbnail image, you can do that. You don't have to. Uh, so that's one option there. We're going to go ahead and click save and go ahead and refresh this over here. So it will take some time to, of course, load on the live version. But as you can see right here, it is updating. So you have your text. You also have your media as well if you want to embed music or videos. So this is really cool. Maybe if you're a music artist, you can also embed uh, Spotify as well. As you can see here on one of the examples, you do have a latest track. You can link out to Spotify there. Have people play your songs or play YouTube videos directly from the Link Pop page. So you do have other additional options that you can do. And the nice thing is, you know, this is all for free within Link Pop. A lot of these types of maybe more advanced features, some of these more advanced features uh, are paid for within an option like Linktree. You know, Linktree, you have to go from the more premium version if you want some of these more advanced features, whereas Link Pop, you can get it for free, which is cool. Now, of course, Linktree is still free as well. They do have a free version, but you do get a bit more of advanced features within the free version of Link Pop, again, even if you don't have a Shopify store to sell products on, uh, which is really nice as well, and something worth considering if you're deciding between the two or if you're comparing them. So addition to adding your products, adding the media, uh, like I mentioned before with linking out to YouTube or Spotify URLs, uh, as you can see here, you can link out to latest YouTube videos or Spotify URLs. Uh, if you want to move things around, all you have to do is click and drag if you want to change the order. So maybe you want this, the beanie at the top above the other shop my store link. You can do that there uh, as well. So if you want it to look like that, you can also add Amazon affiliate links as well. So Amazon affiliate URLs, if you're trying to link out to Amazon affiliate, that's really great if you're an Amazon affiliate. Uh, you can also add affiliate product links from Shopify Collabs. Again, I will be creating a separate tutorial on Shopify Collabs. So stay tuned for that. If you aren't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Uh, so stay tuned for the Shopify Collabs video. Uh, and you can, again, add other links and content from other websites. So again, if you do need additional links beyond the ones that they have here in the profile page, that's how you do it there. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the link pop link in bio tool. Again, you can go ahead and click, well, you have to add those URLs there if you want to publish those. Uh, of course, but you really have a wide variety of different options, different products you can add and sell them directly from your link in bio. So there we go. Now it is freshly updated with the right colors and the buttons there. So guys, I know this page looks pretty basic here, but this is just to show you what you can do with link pop. There really is a ton of options here, as you can see within link pop, how to add things, whether it be products, uh, media, whether it be YouTube, Spotify, affiliate links, other links as well. If you're linking out to other uh, websites, you can do that here as well. So overall, it is a great link and bio tool. And I hope again, by Shopify as well. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down below in the description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. That will take you right over to this page here. We can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the description. And guys, if you aren't already following me on social media, be sure to check out my link tree link down below in the description. Again, if you are trying to sell products, I definitely recommend checking out Link Pop. Again, if you just, you know, hey, those are these are your options here. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, if you did, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.